The government has up to midnight to withdraw in total the finance bill 2023 or face unspecified consequences from the opposition. This was the resolution of the Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition Parliamentary Group meeting held in Nairobi today as the opposition fell short of announcing the return date for the bi-weekly nationwide demonstrations. As KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel To explains, the bipartisan talks now hang on a, on a thread after the PG also suspended the talks indefinitely, despite concessions from the Kenya Kwanzaa side on the pertinent issues. Let's proceed. The parliamentary group meeting that brought together about 130 members of parliament from the Azimiolo Umoja One Kenya affiliate parties held at the Jaramogi Ginga Odinga Foundation resolved to pile more pressure on the Kenya Kwanzaa administration by introducing fresh ultimatum. President William Ruto's government now having less than three hours to withdraw the contentious finance bill 2023 that proposes further taxes on Kenyans. The bill must be withdrawn in totality and be reintroduced afresh. Kenya Kwanzaa has up to midnight today to comply. Although the opposition did not disclose the consequences it will take once the ultimatum expires, the option to go back to the streets remains on the table. The opposition poking holes in the bill that has so far faced strong resistance across the board. Our members have come to the conclusion that it has only bad news. Worst news and the worst news. We consider this to be a bill from people living either in another planet or another country. Despite Azimio noting the efforts made by Kenya Kwanzaa to close ranks within the two camps in the talks through concessions, Azimio says the efforts are too little, too late. The joint bipartisan talks remain suspended that Kenya Kwanzaa has offered that the joint co-chairs should write to the IBC selection panel requesting them to halt the process for about 21 to 30 days. To preserve the IBC's presidential election servers, the Kenya Kwanzaa side has expressed willingness to co-author a letter to the IBC reminding them of their legal obligation. It is, however, the view of the parliamentary group that those concessions are not good enough. The PG also resolved to protect the democracy of parties and ring fence its members against poaching, calling for President Ruto to stop the onslaught on political parties and respect the decision by the Jubilee Party National Delegates Convention. The meeting also approved Mbakasi West legislator Mark Mwenje as the minority deputy whip in the National Assembly, taking over from nominated MP Sabina Shege, who was kicked out after shifting allegiance to Kenya Kwanzaa. Kenya Kwanzaa must agree that all Jubilee MPs, and indeed any other MPs, who have defected to Kenya Kwanzaa, in essence, have to face by elections. This now becomes as Azimio's latest in the string of ultimatums to the government. The ultimatum to write to the United Nations to seek self-determination expires Wednesday. And with the National Assembly set to resume sittings next week after months recess, Azimio Lomoja One Kenya leadership now maintain the Finance Bill 2023 must be withdrawn in total to shield Kenyans from the high cost of living. Emmanuel Toh, KT News, at the Jaramogi Ginga Odinga Foundation, Nairobi.